What's up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf and welcome back to another Tulsa Tour Trials. This time we're out here at Davilio, a personal course favorite here in Tulsa for me, and we're going to be playing against... I'm back! It has been a hot minute since Damien has been on the channel and I am thrilled to have him back on. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a battle. We both really improved since we both were on the channel at the same time at the last time. Oh yeah. But I gotta give a big shout out to this guy. He just recently took down Tulsa's biggest amateur tournament of the year so far with GTO. How do you feel? Um, feeling pretty good, man. Um, we're gonna be going to Norman pretty soon, so hopefully we'll take that down and bring some hardware back to Tulsa. I love to hear that, especially considering that uh, the number one amateur player, Max Wicks, didn't show up for GTO but he will be at the Norman Pro-Am. You have any words for Max? Uh, well, I guess let's just keep it fun, man. Let's keep it exciting. Uh, let's go have a shootout, bro. That's what sounds good to me. I was hoping he'd just say he was gonna smack you, bro. Honestly, you deserve it. It's a shootout. You should have been here. You weren't here. <laughs> well, let's get into hole one. All right, kicking us off hole one. 615 foot par four. You've got road to the left that plays OB a walking path that on the right hand side that plays OB. You wanna keep your disc in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and flip first. If it lands heads, I'll go. If it lands tails, Damien's first. What's we going with here, sir? We are gonna show the Z nuke. Z nuke, baby. Let's see it flex out a little bit. Let's see. I love it. Oh. Ooh. Tree stop. You can see the basket in the background though. Yeah. I, similar play, new destroyer to the bag because I've lost like seven emperors in the last two weeks. Hey. Arguably worse than Damien's shot, but we both have looks to get up and down for a birdie. Hey, it came down in bounds. You love to see it. This is where if you've ever played a tournament with Damien, you know this is uh, within range. Forehand approach shot? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's still within range. Oh, smoked. Nice Unfortunately, I also still haven't wiped the stamps. Boomer! Probably why I missed. This is a very deciding putt for Damien. If he hits it, we're looking at a good round. That could mean anything. That was a little low left too. Oh yeah. What's up guys, hole two, we got a par three, 435 feet. Um, got a little sidewalk that plays OB. We're gonna play it as a river. Got some water down to the bottom right and then we got the road to the left. So we'll see what we can do. Just know it's not common to get to the basket in one. It basically plays all those trees on the right hand side beyond the path behind the last one. So you gotta throw it pretty far out there. I'm gonna go destroyer on the outside. Pizer low skip shot. And just give myself a look at getting up and down I mean, it's unfortunate that I skipped off the path, but we're up there. <laughs> we're left. It's not bad. It's about where I am. Yeah. You like that spot? To throw. I don't. Oh. Looks like you gave that a bit of a half bid. Here, bud. It's all you want. There we go. Don't worry, I'll still tap it out. It's a dangerous putt. I gotta see that. All right, we're gonna hold three 710 foot par four. Walking path on the right of us, OB. Road to the left, also OB. Still got a stroke on Damien. Appreciate that gift, buddy. There you go, Falcon. 
Appetit. <laughs> I'll take that. That feels very good to get out there. Oh geez, I went the wrong way. But still got it. <laughs> he said it was supposed to go left. We are playing the gravel path on the right hand side OB today. So I'd love to go forehand here, but I just feel more confident throwing this instinct backhand straight at the basket. Or straight into the road. Just sit down. Should be fine. Uh oh. Wind dropped it. Good putt. All right, guys, we're on hole four. We got a par three, pretty much uh, dead straight, 315 feet. Let's see what we can do. Back to the instinct. Let's see if I can uh, do it justice this time. The answer is no. That is very short. Put those MD1, we'll see what she does. MD1. Be the one. Stable for an MD1. Yeah, that thing doesn't go anything but straight and left. Let's see if we can step up big time like we did against Ben. Woo. You, you thought for a second though. Woo. You thought for a second though. Nope. Holy cow. <laughs> There we go. All right, hole five, 415 foot par three. Right out there, road splitting the fairway down the middle that plays OB. If you see blood on my legs, it's not my own. The skeeters are bad today. We're gonna They're destroy terrible, them. they're terrible. Get him a skip. What a shot. It's a bit short, but it is well beyond the road that's OB, so I'll take it. I think she fell. I think so too, but I didn't see it on the camera. I didn't either. Forgot to play disc golf. So now we're just throwing disc. Getting bit by mosquitoes. That's so good. Good shot. Thanks. What happened? I deserve everything coming to me this round. All right guys, hole six, we got a par three, 444 feet, just dead straight right in front of us. Got OB right, um, a little bit of a road in between us is a river, so let's do it. Oh, get out of it. Safe. Inbounds. We out here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna try to throw a nuke. Keyword, try. That stayed left. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nowhere near. Good enough. All right, hole seven, 330 foot par three, basically a triple mando off the tee. Mando is on the left and on the right, so there is a double mando kind of out in the fairway. Pretty much just want to play something as hard, flat, straight as possible. Straight to that basket. Tee burn. Wow, that actually got all the way up there. That's surprising. I thought it was going to hit like the second to last tree. Got the forehand lined up. Oh my god! 
You know, he said something to me earlier to the effect of, depending on how the forehand goes, it's gonna stay that way. It it's looks staying. like it's staying that way. It's staying. That's it. About where mine is, I think. Good too. I can do it! There we go. All right, hole eight, par three. We got a double Mando straight ahead. Uh, looks like 265. <laughs> and we got a truck parked in this fairway. Hopefully we don't hit it. I might lay up, guys. A little bit of headwind coming through. Uh, I'm gonna throw MD4. Mando is not missed. Still short. This lays up short, nobody say anything. Oh, he hit the line just right. That's it. That should be perfect or a little short. I Couldn't hope tell. It's, hope it's short. Great shot. Good birdie. Hole nine. We found the Skeeter Pond. Coincidentally, I guess when I threw my disc on seven, I also killed one. That's pretty cool. We're gonna throw it again. Got through it. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, by the way, this is a 294 foot par three. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hex yeah. That's it. He said hex yeah. You'll take that. T-Bird got caught up a little bit, but uh, still a good look at a putt. Dude. Let's go. Ooh. Say it for the people. One back. All right, guys, hole 10. We got a 237 foot par three, just basically dead straight. We try to throw a Raptor and hopefully get it in. I'm going for it, by the way. Let's go. <laughs> I threw it short. Follow Damien's footsteps, but we'll go fireball. Just a tad. Putt, but it's a horrible shot. Yeah. Oh, that was big time for the turkey. My feet, my right foot is getting soaked right now. No. Oh. All that work and nothing to show for it. Hole 11, 420 foot par three. Road on the right that plays OB and it goes around the back side of the basket. So if you go too long, you can find it. Still Damien's box, let's see what he does. They're attacking me. I feel like half the footage is just us getting mosquitoes off. See it finish. She went left. Back to the Falcon. We got through it. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know how it got all the way through that, but that thing's really, that tree is really grown up. All right guys, hole 12, 265, par three, just dead straight. Just got a lot of uh, over the top coverage, so I might just go over the top, we'll see. Into the tree. All right, I am not taking the forehand line. We're gonna go hyzer on the high right side. So probably won't be able to track it, but Damien will keep it pointed at the basket in case it gets close. Should be good. Looks good. How do you feel about that? Pretty good. Pretty great. Part two. Go over the top if you got an opportunity to.
Good putt. It's not a regulation size basket. All right, hole 13, 327 foot par three. Most of these, like the others, are straight out there. Uh, now that big tree's gone, you can kind of take the uh, hyzer flip. So we're gonna go right. I think Still I'm uh, gonna get the basket. It. Still got through it. I'm gonna throw a left for three. We'll see if it can go straight. That's his angle today, boys. Just left. Just left. <laughs> we'll try to hit the leaning power, <laughs> leaning basket of <laughs> Davilio. <laughs> the leaning basket of Davilio. You think that was the basket's fault? I mean, it is leaning. <laughs> but at the same time, you have more room on this side. Not the basket's fault, it's mine. Crazy Eyes Carl, if you're watching this, please stop hitting our baskets. Please. It makes it less fun to play. All right guys, hole 14, we got a par four, 515 feet. Got the road OB left. Pretty tight, little narrow gap to go through in the middle. We'll see how she goes, Jacob's got it. Back to the uh, medium stability destroyer. Let's try to put it on a little bit of an Anheuser for a flex. I didn't throw it on Anheuser, but that should be okay. Oh no. Oh, we got the Wola play. You might never see this from me again. Oh? Hey yo, roller? Yo, it's going for that car. Bro, that thing was beelining for the car. Itchy, itchy. Pull off a miracle. I want to see a miracle. Skip an eagle. You got a birdie putt. What do you mean, hopefully, a par? Just waiting for the grip lock. All right, so basically, uh, off the tee box, I didn't just open the door for Damien, I smacked it open with my foot. All right, four more to play. Anything can happen in these last four holes. They're all very scorable. Starting with hole 15, 245 foot par three. Right out there, road on the right-hand side OB and behind it. In throw zone. That is pretty good. Should be perfect. I'm also gonna throw my zone. Let's go. Double let's go. Ooh, and a little ground play. Should be pretty good. What do you got to say to the people? Nice. Let's go. That's a two. All right, guys, hole 16. We got 300 straight up. Uh, par three, pretty much dead straight. Just like every other hole we played. Um, Jacob Box. All right, we got two to play with, so you already know. We're gonna go ace run with the uh, Nordic Phenom 2, or PD. Well, not a chance in the world that that was gonna ace, but it's parked. Did. Get lucky today. Good pot.
Hole 17, 340 foot par three, right out there. Pretty much a low ceiling tunnel type shot. Um, you can get past the initial gap on the right hand side, usually you get a good look at the basket. Pizza, pizza, anyone? That's not the, uh, not the right side. It's fine, you're down you there. You like Damien out here with that high Oh! <laughs> Totally missed it. Did Not it just happy. drop right down? No, she went right. I'll see you, Dame. Oh, no! I knew it. It felt so good. Ah. Eyes are down early. over <laughs> all right guys hole 18 uh you've watched up to now you kind of know what's going on it didn't go too well but uh we got one hole i guess we're gonna make it fun see what jacob's got it's 380 feet dead straight just like all the rest <laughs> so ideal play if you've got a massive forehand that's probably what you're gonna lean on i don't have that kind of forehand so we're gonna go with the uh, mosquito bloodstain charger Oh boy, that's out of bounds by a mile. Safe. <laughs> We're gonna throw a Halo Destroyer. Forehand. Be about 50 short. Probably pitch up for a three. Oh dude, that could do massive things. <laughs> Alright, about 50 short. Let's pitch up for that three. Alright, I did in fact go out of bounds. So, throwing three from here. Parked her, bud. Man, if you wouldn't have bogeyed the last hole, <laughs> you could have had a playoff. All right, that's gonna wrap up series two of Tulsa Tour Trials episode one with Damien. We'll be back probably next week with an episode out at uh, Chandler Bear. Get to see some ace runs with uh, some of your top MA1 talent from Tulsa. Uh, I do appreciate you getting out here, battling yeah, it out. Yeah, always fun. We'll get another one in soon. But uh, until next time, peace. <laughs>